We're starting this video in a new document. We're going to look at the brush and eraser tools in Photoshop. Let's select the brush. This can be done by clicking the brush tool on the tool panel, alternatively B on the keyboard. We can see now that we have a circle for a cursor and a series of new settings across the top. We start with our brush size. You can click this pop-up menu to scale the brush size. A quicker way to do this is to hold Alt, right click and drag the mouse. There are two main brush types, the soft and the hard brush. The soft will create a stroke with a faded edge and the hard will create a stroke with a solid opacity. A trick I love to use the brushes for in Photoshop is to use our shape marquee tool from before to create a desired shape and draw of our brush to fill the selection. Let's swap back to our concept board and use this technique to create a line above our text at the bottom of our board. I'll select the rectangle marquee tool, draw out a selection, the width I'm looking for, right click and click transform selection. This will give us the same free transform options we've seen before. I'll use shift to individually edit the height of the box and make it four pixels tall. Once scaled, I'll select the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard and draw over the selection, creating a line. At this point, we can test the eraser tool. The eraser works in the exact same way as the brush. It even has different edge modes, just like the brush too. Try erasing the line, then swapping back to the brush and drawing it back in. This is a quick look at the brush and eraser tools inside of Photoshop, but there's a lot more to cover. With custom brushes, Altering the movement of the brush and drawing tablets, I urge you to experiment with brushes further in your own time. There are downsides to creating shapes using this method, so let's look at a better way using Photoshop's inbuilt shape tools.